Hello Kerbal Ears, it's here, the 1.4 Away With Words Mark II update is live. Now this isn't the DLC package, this is the free update that you get if you've bought the game. I'm going to put up the dev notes here, you can read through them at your leisure, and I'll come back to you after that's done. I've already started a save. Let's load it up and show you some of the new features. One of the first things I noticed is in the upper left hand corner by the Kerbal Selection button, there's a new button shaped like an airplane that lets you switch from the space plane hanger to the VAB and back. And it switches quite smoothly. I've set up an example of all the new and revamped parts. As you can see, the fairings have been updated and you can cycle between different color choices now. The next part we'll look at are the decouplers. They finally retextured them so they look somewhat aesthetically pleasing. Next item is the Mark 1-3 cockpit, which I think they rushed. Um, there are some problems with that, and I'll get to that later. Here you can see the new Mark II tanks and the radial attachment tanks. The Mark II tanks have all the color swapping abilities of the fairings. In my quick poking around, the fairings and the Mark II tanks seem to be the only thing that have the different color themes. All the other tanks remain as they were. Now let's take a look at the dumpling and the baguette. That's right, the dumpling and the baguette. I love how they name some of these things. But it seems they are modeled around the same size as the old RCS tanks. Everyone knows that big ugly Mark II RCS tank, right? Well, they finally updated it to something aesthetically pleasing, and you can also change the color schemes on them. Of course, all the other RCS tanks remain as they were. Now getting back to this Mark 1-3 cockpit, I was looking at how pretty it was and how symmetrical everything is and I noticed the RCS ports. And I started digging around in the GUI and I found this expand expanded menu. So it seems there's a possibility that the RCS ports work, although I do not see a forward or rear facing port, so I don't know if they work in every single direction. I'm going to load up a capsule on the launch pad and take a look inside and see if the RCS ports do actually work. So I had some problems with it. I couldn't get the, the little Kerbal window showing here for the bottom capsule. Um, I tried this several times, and yes, the, look, the RCS ports do work in most directions. Um, but where's his picture? So I reloaded up again, and both capsules are full. Val is in the top capsule, and the other three veterans are in the bottom capsule. Yep, you can look inside. Uh, changing views doesn't help. Um, there's no internals. Why? Why is there no internals? Okay, so we'll pop Jeb out. Transfer Val into the Mark 1-3. And 
she's gone. Whereas there's, there's no camera feed. Well, put Jeb in the top and the camera comes back. What the heck? <coughs> I'm sorry. So, I've got Val loaded up on a nice little plane here, and I've got a nice little chair here for her to sit in. Now, having her sit out here like this, you'll see down on the corner here that the parachute ends up in the staging. And yes, I know her face is purple. That is, uh, texture replacer is not quite working. Um, by the way, say goodbye to all your mods. The only thing that's working is Kerbal Engineer. Um, there's no way to adjust the parachute, whether they're in the capsule or not, because Jeb's in the capsule and I can't do anything with his either. But with her sitting in the chair, it shows up on the staging. So if you update, be careful of that and check your staging before you fire your engines. They've also updated the sounds on some of the engines and the Panther is one of them they changed and I'm not sure how I feel about what it sounds like. It sounds like my mom's old vacuum cleaner from the early 70s. It seems my planes still fly the same. Okay, let's turn this bird around and try these shoots. Now this I like. You use the yaw key to turn left and right and you have pitch. That's all the control you have. So you use your pitch and your yaw to change your direction and speed. You might even have air brakes of some sort but I didn't think to hit the brake button to try it out. It seems like it's more of a paraglider, but I can see myself having hours of fun playing with this. Maybe even a high altitude jump. Hmm, halo jump? Good job, Val. I've prepared some special snacks for you down in the conference room. You can go get them. Psychedelic Rubber Ducky! I hope you enjoyed my first look at KSP version 1.4. I still need planes for PFC 6. All the information for that 
will be in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time, Herbaliers.